Birmingham Children's University is part of the National Children's University movement and it gives children really exciting opportunities to try new learning, to experience new things and they get accredited for doing so and eventually go on to graduation. This half term we decided that we would run a science module, it's been two days. First day was all about physics and it's that kind of really practical science that we really want our children to do. Making rockets, dropping eggs from heights, they'd be making bath bombs, having a chemistry day today and all sorts of exciting. The children are just buzzing with it, really enjoying it. What we've got in here is acid soda and corn flour. We're going to like make a bath bomb in a heart shape so we can do it for Mother's Day. Good. What can you see growing up the side there? We've been working with Children's University for two years now. We think it's a fantastic way of helping children really raise their expectations and their aspirations as to what they can do. Well, let's see if you get a crystal. Here we go. Wow! wow. <laughs> That's cool. There's nothing better in a classroom than a child who's suddenly become engaged with science and realise actually it's really important to them. Sometimes we find it's the, the difficult children that actually get the most out of this because we don't ask them to read and we don't ask them to write. We just ask them to do. And the children who don't like reading and writing but do like the experimentation and the doing often are the, the children that get the most out of this. And so it can be a way of bringing in those, those sometimes difficult to reach children and re-inspiring them because then they realise that Okay, you do have to do some reading and writing if you've got if you want to achieve what you want. So maybe I'll work a bit harder at that, and then I can do the doing. That, that's a, that's something we see time and time again. Okay, there we go. Ready, ready. Three, two, one. If the children here in Birmingham. We're still an engineering city. We've got Land Rover, we've got Jaguar, we've got uh, MG Rover. They need people to design and build. And again, that's something that the children here at the Children's University could be aspiring to do. This is our university passport. You earn hours for clubs that you go to, and there's a free range of clubs. If you get 30, then you get a bronze medal. If you get what 65, is it? if you get 64, you get a silver medal. And 100 for gold. gold. At the moment, we've got choir, cookery, dance, gardening, guitar, numerous clubs. We've even got our football validated. They have to be slightly different from the normal clubs. They can't just be like a leisure activity. You have to show that a skill's been learnt and you have to show a learning outcomes. And all of the local schools do a variety of things, I would say. Timberley nearby has even got their forest schools after school club validated. And the children have been coming along to all those clubs and been really excited about getting their passports stamped. This holiday, you've come along to Science Club. Do you mind coming in your holiday? No. no. It's fun. It's fun, you enjoyed it. I think I want to go to university every day in the holidays in six weeks. Both your children have got Birmingham Children's University passports. What clubs or modules have they studied so far? We've been doing the netball. Millie's enjoyed netball and cooking. And um, she does a dance class here as well at the school and she's been really into that, really enjoying that. Uh, he's, done, he's in the choir. He's done netball. He's about to do the new cookery club that's just started. He's very excited. And the science module, very excited about that. Because it's very practical as well, which he really enjoys, being hands-on. And being with his friends, but not so necessarily in a school environment. It's different friends. He's meeting different children, the older children in the year above him. He's getting to know them as well. I think Millie's enjoyed as well that she's realised all the things she can do that are fun and all the clubs that she does. She's realising now that he's still learning. It's like a holistic approach and she's really, really getting into that. Well, it will be amazing when we go to graduation and it will be really fun and it's going to be really a bit nervous. You'll be a bit nervous, do you think? Jack, what do you know about when you go for your graduation? And you get a certificate and you have to go up on stage 
at Aston Hall. So. Millie's asking how many people she can invite to come along. I think she wants the whole family there. <laughs> By the end of the year, we had 30 children, I think, who graduated at Aston University. We took the children and their parents to Aston University. It was such an exciting event. I remember one of the parents had said to me, I think I need to buy a new dress for this. The children wore their the caps and gowns and had the photographs taken and all came up and collected their, their certificates. It really changed their attitude and opinion about university. They were standing outside taking photos of Aston University and, and talked to me about that's what they wanted to do now. And when we did questionnaires, they were saying I hadn't thought about university before and now that's something that I would like to do. All of a sudden he's realised and there are, there are things he can aspire to. It's not if, it's when I go to university and I would like to do this and he's finding that learning is fun. We know it makes a difference to our children. The two reasons that I particularly wanted to be involved, one was about creating aspirations for our children. Not just to want to go to university, but to be aware of university, but also to try new experiences. But also it was about persistence and commitment. We'd found from our children in the, in the past that they'd go to a club, but they'd give up after a few weeks, especially if it was done by an outside agency. Having to collect their hours in order to graduate meant that they were committed to it and they wanted to keep going and they, and they developed a sense of persistence and stickability, if you like. It's something that we're going to continue and I think our local area will continue because it's deeply embedded now in what we do. They start talking to you in a different way and you know, then they want to tell you what they've learned and they enjoy being with other children of different age groups as well and I think all schools should do it because it gives a child a sense of achievement and sense of where, worth, yeah, where yeah. they can go. I think as well the area we live in I know lots of areas like it, but a lot of children, the families don't work or there's like parents in jail or, and they don't think their future is it's going to be very good. I think that they think they're going to leave school, hang around the house all day, go around the shops, get into trouble. And now other children that we've seen with our children, they're talking about things and I just think it's lovely that they can see they've got a future themselves and they can take charge of that future. Jack, what do you think about children should be? It's really good and you don't never know what you're gonna do first. And everything gets difficult difficult. Yeah, but you can still you still can try.